Hey there, my friends. It's Bill McDonald, the writing doctor here. And I have a special request for all of you who signed up for Thursday's editing training with writing teachers and reading teachers who are transitioning to editing and revising as part of their field test items for this coming year and part of their regular tests for all of the years after that. And uh, anybody from kinder to third grade who wants to support grammar and conventions, because that's where it all begins. I have a special request. I need five things from all of you who signed up to bring to the training on Thursday morning at nine o'clock. And they are the following. I need you to go to Dollar Tree and just buy five simple little things for one dollar that are going to make the training more engaging and a lot more interesting and fun for all of you guys who who like to help students who are visual, auditory, verbal, uh, kinesthetic learners. So here are the five things. So if, if you want to write it down, you can or just remember them. Number one. Dollar Tree always sells hats and little caps, little hats with a string on them, uh, five for a dollar or little hats for a dollar. It's gonna be hats for capitalization. That's number one. I need either regular bouncy balls uh, that you can get in the toy section. There's some light up ones that are very cool. There's another kind that are inside a little uh, plastic bag that when you slam them on the floor or a table pretty hard, they have a little neon light that turns on and you can uh, use them. And that's gonna be for our punctuation is pausable activity for another punctuation activity. I need you to go to the birthday party section and buy some six for a dollar slinkies. I think they're six for a dollar, eight for a dollar. And basically we're gonna check punctuation by stretching a slinky one inch for each word that a, student's write, a student writes without putting punctuation. And so if you're reading your essay silently, then you're gonna be able to see that you have a run because if your head is hitting your neighbor, you can pretty much guess that you have a run on because I'm about six feet tall. That's 12 times um, six, 72 inches. So if I have 72 words without a period, I've got a run on. So that activity is gonna be called the saggy slinky. And whenever we see a comma, I'm gonna show you how to bend it low for a comma and bend it high for an apostrophe or a contraction or opening and closing quotations that go before you talk and after you talk. Think of it sort of like uh, what they call uh, the kids who have little dimples here. We can say that your opening quotations uh, are the dimples before your mouth and your closing uh, quotations are the dimples after your mouth, after you're done using dialogue. So that's the third, th the third thing, the caps or hats, the bouncy balls that light up or don't, it doesn't matter as long as they bounce, and the slinkies. The other two things are gonna help us check spelling. If the word looks the same, but sounds differently. I want you to get the little antennas or some type of ears that you can put on top of your head. Uh, the cooler you can look visually for that, the cooler it's gonna make the spelling portion of the training. Sometimes the words sound the same, but they look differently and so the last thing, the fifth thing I want you to buy is in usually towards the front of the store, they have all these different types of glasses and kids are gonna have to be good looking like us, 
but more importantly, they have to be good at looking at spelling words. They can take a picture to see how the word looks the same or looks differently or record videos so they can say the word softly or loudly, which we'll learn with cups with two P's and two S's. If you're doing cups with one P and one S, you're missing out on a lot of opportunities to help your kids who really need cups with two P's and two S's. And I'll show you all of that in the editing training on Thursday. Anybody who brings those, as you know, are going to get, you're, we're giving tickets for each training. And so for each one of those five items you bring, you'll get to earn an extra ticket and we'll give some prizes for anybody who has or thinks they have the coolest hat, the coolest looking bouncy ball, glasses, ears or antennas. Uh, and so those are some of the things that are gonna help us with cups with two P's and two S's. God bless you guys. I'll leave a link on the bottom of this short video. So those of you who haven't signed up can do so uh, while there's still time. All the live webinars include my latest version of my 2020-2021 Dear Doc ELAR writing binder. Right now it has close to 600 pages. And for any of you who purchased a live, live webinar or a recorded webinar this summer, you'll get all the updated versions for free throughout the school year. Just check in once a month. And as I'm updating to add new reading, editing, and revising passages, along with open-ended and short answer questions that align with the TEA structure and format. I'll be putting those in the binder. So by the time the school ends this coming year, your binder's gonna have close to 700 or 800 pages in it uh, to make sure that we can adapt to this new ELAR world. So God bless you guys. Hopefully we'll see most of you in the live version. Don't forget that if you can't attend the live version, you're always welcome to attend, uh, just purchase the webinar and you'll be receiving an email link of the recorded version once it's up and ready, along with all the PDF files that come with the training, you'll get the same benefits of everyone who attends the live version, except for not being able to see uh, in person or right there on your camera what everybody else is wearing. So don't forget those five things, everybody, a reminder, a hat or a cap, either from the Dollar Tree or something that you might already have from somewhere, any kind of hat or cap will do. A regular bouncy ball or a light up one, a slinky of any type, a set of ears or antennas from Dollar Tree or somewhere, or a set of cool looking glasses, and reminder, the ears and antennas and glasses are gonna remind us the importance of seeing the spelling word and hearing it. So there you go. Hope to see you guys on Thursday, God bless.